Alright, time for another main encounter ride line. This time for Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion's return, so let's begin. Here's the starter, Spark Kid Dragoon. Moving on to the Grade 1 with 8k power, Red River Dragoon. It has a skill of auto when rode upon by a Grade 2 Narukami. Search your deck for one Eternal Dragon Bolt, that's an order card. Reveal it and add it to your hand, and of course, shuffle your deck. That's going to be a very important card for the deck, or one of the best cards in the deck. But anyway, second skill, Auto Rear Guard. When this unit boosts, if your Vanguard is at least a Grade 3 Narukami, cost Counter Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's back row rearguards and bind it. If you did not bind, Soul Charge 2. Counter Blast one to bind one of your opponent's back row rear guards isn't entirely too bad, and even if you didn't bind the soul charge two isn't entirely bad because that's basically a research trade off. And in many ways, the soul in this deck might be a little more important. And you do have some generic Dragon Empire counter chargers, and I'm not talking about Dragon Monk Gojo. There is one that is attack it to retire itself to draw for a counter charge, and Vermilion is all about attacking multiple units because that's its play style, and you're very likely going to hit. So gain that. Soul Charge is pretty easy with the Counter Blast. Next to the Grade 2 with Tanky Power, Thunderstorm Dragoon. Auto when rolled upon by a Grade 3 Narukami, look at top sand cards or deck, choose one Narukami from among them and add it to your hand. Pretty nice, actually, especially it's a free search. Now, it just depends on how much Narukamis that you got, which in this case, you got a total of 6 different Narukamis, at least in the overdress format, and we might get more in the future. But anyway, second skill. Auto when placed on Rearguard, if your Vanguard is Narukami, Soul Charge 1, and this card gives us 5 key power into the turn. On play Soul Charge with extra power, not too bad, especially when I said the soul is going to be quite important, and I'm glad that this ride line isn't very generic, because at least they're very useful in rear guards as well. And now to the grade 3 with drinking power, Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. It has the skill of Act Vanguard once per turn, cost combos 1, choose 2 of your units that are Narukami, they get 5k power into the end turn. And then during this turn, when this card attacks, you may choose 2 of your opponent's rear guards, and this unit battles those units along with the vanguard. Vermilion Thunderbolt! And it definitely a huge improvement to the V series version that only attacks the whole front row, because this one lets you choose which units that you want to attack, including the Vanguard. That is very good, and thus makes it easier to activate some on hit skills as well. I did talk about that one generic Dragon Empire card that lets you counter charge along with a draw. But anyway, second skill Auto Vanguard. Once per turn, at the end of battle, this unit attacked. If you played a normal order during this turn, and your opponent has four or less cards in their damage zone, cost discard a card from hand, choose one of your opponent's Vanguards, and do one damage to it. Yep, a Thunder Strike type ability. That is pretty good as well, especially when your Grade 1 of the Ride Line already searches up your order, which can also work in the Drop Zone, spoiler alert. But overall, a nice reimagine of Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, and definitely a huge improvement to both originals, because yeah, being able to choose which units to attack is such a huge improvement. And not only that, there's the added skill of dealing the extra damage, which is a second skill that Vermilion never really had, actually. So I'm glad that you can play with the Vermilion Thunderbolt. Let's see what will they do in the future with this card, especially if they decide to make the evolution of the blood. And now to the order card, Eternal Thunderbolt, which is the attack name of Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion, but the original was Vermilion Thunderbolt. In V series, it was Eternal Thunderbolt. So go with whatever you want. But anyway, it has the skill of you can play this card from your drop zone or hand if your Vanguard is Vermilion and your clan is Narukami, which basically future proves it, where you basically will use it to with the blood in the future if they do make the card. But anyway, the skill is choose one of your Vanguards until the turn it gets this ability. Count Vanguard. Your opponent's rear guards that get hit and would be retired from rear guard, they're bound instead. And Count Vanguard. If your opponent has no rear guards, all your front row rear guards get plus 5k. If this card was played from your drop zone, you bind it. Basically, changing your retires to binds, which is actually more effective depending on the matchup. And currently, not many decks interact with the bind zone in Overdress yet. And with a bunch of generic Dragon Empire cards that could pretty much kill your opponent's field, you do have a decent chance of clearing up your opponent's board. So that added skill for extra power is actually pretty nice. And now to some support cards, our first card is Rising Phoenix, which is a great one way AK power in the skills. Auto Drop Zone. When either player's card is bound by your card ability during this turn, if your Vanguard is Narukami, cause Soul Blast 1, call this to Rear Guard. By the way, you can do this in battle as well, so your Order card along with Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion will actually trigger this in battle, giving you a possible another attack. And this card won't be useless on the field either, because of its second skill where Act Rear Guard, cost retire this unit, choose 
one of your units and it gets the spiky power in the turn. One of the main weaknesses right now for Vermilion is in fact the lack of power, so this part is very helpful, especially when it can bring itself back and potentially give you another attack as a combo. Also, it's nice discard fodder, by the way. Finally, Dragonic Death Sigh, which is a grade 2 at taking power and the skill is count rearguard during a turn. If your opponent has no front row rearguards, this card gets 5k power. Typical Narukami that says clear up the front row, and there's of course ways to do it because Vermilion's a thing. But anyway, second skill, Auto Rearguard. When this card attacks a Vanguard, if your Vanguard is at least a grade 3 Narukami, cost Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and bind it. If you do not bind, draw a card. Soul Blast 2 is a little too heavy for a bind. Luckily, stuff like Red River Dragoon exists where you can still Soul Charge 2, Thunderstorm can still Soul Charge 1, although Red River needs to not retire something for the Soul Charge. Not sure if this second skill is really worth using unless if Soul is really not actually a problem. And so far, technically, it isn't really much of a problem. You're not really using Soul other than with Rising Phoenix which can sometimes conflict with this card, I will have to say. So I would say mainly for the first skill. So that's it for this video of the Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion ride line. What do you guys think of it? Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion's return, I am glad to see. And also better than ever, actually. Hopefully we will actually get the blood as well, which it seems like we will, considering that we also have Azel in the same set, and we also have Maelstrom, so we're probably gonna get the Clash of Dragons and Knight Trio, which is gonna be quite awesome, especially with their evolutions, mimicking set 9. It might be in set 14, but who knows? I'm just glad to see Vermilion again and I thought Vermilion has lost its treatment since V so glad to see Vermilion treatment great again and also the idea of using the order cards as attack names is actually quite interesting hopefully they actually do this with the original trio ride lines because I would kind of like to see their attack name order cards be made and see what they can do as support I think it's just an awesome concept but on that that's it for this and see you all next time